morning. We uh, Ian brought us here to Nyogenyan, and uh, that's just south of Mopalan, north of Richards Bay. Lovely area. You have to come in a crowd here just to be safe. And uh, we're gonna get a give it our best, best shot to look for some edibles. We've got the king here with us, and he's gonna tell you all about this one. Yeah, as Anche, Andre mentioned, we are at Yogi's and uh, looks <laughs> Anche Andre and uh, oh, I think the conditions look okay. A little, little bit of colour in the water. Uh, main target species are going to be your reef fish. So your rock cod, uh, cave bass, yellow bellies. Uh, should get a few stumpies, maybe a pompano. So the guy is basically scratching. Uh, yeah, I think we found a good spot with some reef open here. There's a, a gutter, a deep gutter and a bank at the back. So the ideal area to fish for that stumpy or pompano would be close to that bank. And obviously a reef fish just along the side of this reef here. We'll be fishing very close to the reef, very short traces. And uh, I'm sure we're going to get some fish here. It looks very promising, looks good. So hang on. But unfortunately, the fish are beating us every single time. Um, we've definitely had a couple of nice stumpy pools that have cut us off. We've moved down here to the northern ledges of uh, Nyogenyan. Lovely little working water, but the water is cold. There's not a lot of little fish around. Uh, stone bream, stuff like that, we're battling to find them, little bait fish. We are battling, this Wesley's not making it any better. And it looks like it's going to rain any minute soon. So we're just trying with bigger baits and just try for the big fish and see what happens. Uh, it's not the ideal conditions for you, unfortunately. But perseverance wins the game. That's the one. Okay guys, so I'm on a reef here and there's a nice bank at the back. So I'm gonna attempt to catch a stumpy here. Yeah? And uh, obviously when fishing for stumpies targeting a certain fish, you gotta know what to eat. So, uh, while standing on the shore there, managed to find two sea lice. So that's that's sort of the number one bait for a stumpy or a pompano here in our area. I've got a 6 o mustard, uh, I think it's a 4 o sorry, I've got a 4 o mustard big gun. But a strong hook, obviously the stumpies have uh, bolder teeth in their mouth and uh, they tend to bend hooks so I just put my, my knife literally just through so I don't go through the shell then I'm gonna take the sea lice and I'm gonna hook it on just gonna place my hook in there you saw I put some toothpicks on my hook then the trick here to tie a sea lice down is you break the sides off here that's gonna help hold the cotton Okay, I'm gonna tie that on. That's quite lucky. Then I'm gonna take the second sea lice and I'm gonna shell it. I'm gonna take the shell off the top. Be very careful. Just lightly peel the shell off. And you're gonna expose that. That's what you want. Right there. Take that, you put it on the other side. You got some smell, a little bit of the guts of the sea lice. Hooks nice and proud. That's a good bait. That's a stump. 
be in the area is gonna charge us. Alright, let's get him in the water. Another very common species that we catch, eel tail barbel. Um, normally caught at night time. He's got a very sharp spine there. One on either side, pretty much like a barbel does. This is the freshwater barbel of uh, the sea. Got all these cat's whiskers here. Like I said, the spines, yeah. And they roll around like you cannot believe. That's the easiest way to hold him. And the safest way. 
So if you look here, he's got some incredible teeth for crushing crayfish, shells, stuff like that. Look at those row of molars in the back there, in the front. And I tell you what, he can bite. Okay, boy. There we go. Now the little edibles have turned on. Water is fully hot tide. Starting to turn now. We've got a big rainstorm cloud coming that way. And we're definitely getting bites now. But I think it rain's gonna catch us any second now. We're gonna fish for a sandy here. Yeah? Or a bag or something. What is a bit cooler? So, no, let's give it a bath. Let's see. But not the size we want. So, oh, a little sandy. Little baby guitar. It's even at this size, they still give you a little, little pull here, take a little bit of string. But yeah, that's it. We want a bigger one though. I've got the Saltus medium heavy, the 15 foot version, and uh, the Saltus 8000 with 40 pound J braid on. Oh, yeah. 